Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your collective reading. Welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess. This is Neptune. She's joining us today to remind us to always trust our intuition. Jupiter's off to the side, contemplating deep things about expansion. Right, Jupy? Oh, it was a baby. All right, Scorp, pick a pile, one, two, or three, for your personalized message today. Then we'll get into your tarot reading. Pile one, a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. So things are going to go in your favor, balancing the scales. If you're looking for love, there's possibility for that too. Pile two, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Shout out to the Scorpios who chose pile two. The negativity that this card talks about, I often relate it to shadow work, um, any self-limiting beliefs, any constructs that you live according to that aren't fully serving you and all, aren't fully allowing yourself to step outside your comfort zone and do the things that are impossible, right? Pile three, oh, bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. And this is all about manifesting. So we've got two release piles and one manifesting pile. Love to see it, Scorpio. Thanks for playing. Let's get into your tarot reading today. Whoop. Oh my God, what were we just talking about? Self-limiting beliefs and keeping this on the table. All right, now Jupiter is with us, reminding us to expand. Oh my God, these cats, I can't. This is real life. It's all day. They just want to be here all day and I love them so much, but I got to read, baby. I got to read, baby. Can you go down with your sister? Thank you, mama. Okay. <laughs> a minute and 46 of cats. I'm sorry. <laughs> Eight of swords. Justice. Another sword. So that's nine swords. That's anxiety. What do you got anxiety over, Scorpio? Whoa. Drop it because your intuition is on point. What else do we have for Scorpio Collective? What does the Scorpio Collective need to know today? King of Pentacles. Your money is looking right and tight. What else do we have for Scorpio? Queen of Swords, this is having strong boundaries and discernment, being open for communication, but also having that sword drawn in case you need it, right? Two of Pentacles, Death, this is your card, Scorpio. Something ending, transformation, there's a decision you have to make. Two more for Scorpio. That's too many. Two more for Scorpio. Nope. Six of Wands wanted to show its face. You being victorious, Scorpio. Knight of Wands. One more. And the King of Swords. Wow, we have a divine pair on the table. That's wild. The Hermit in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Going within. Going at introspection alone. Getting deep into the subconscious. And bringing to light all of those things that we think are impossible for us that are actually illusions. All right, let's see what all this is about. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Scorpio? How many swords we got on the table? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven swords. Eleven is a master number. It's also justice. So something is definitely going to be put um, put into um, fairness, into it, back into balance, just like that full moon and Libra card at the start of the reading, right? So if you pulled that card, this is an extra shout out to you because justice is Libra energy. All right, this Eight of Swords is being clarified by what? What is this Eight of Swords for Scorpio? Two of Wands in reverse. Looks like you're at a crossroads. There's some kind of decision that you need to make. Could be about traveling, could be about moving, could be about like your next location, where you're going to be. Um, it looks like you are removing the blindfold and self-inflicted limitations so that you can expand your horizons. Maybe you're looking to move someplace that is out of city, out of state, out of country, out of the comfort zone. Um, and if you're not moving, there is some kind of decision that is being made that is going to ask you to step outside of the constructs that as you know them to be you may need to call on your spirit guides guardian angels and ancestors at this time to help you temper your emotions balance your masculine and feminine energy lean into archangel michael that's the temperance energy if you need to okay the justice is being clarified by the queen of pentacles so justice is libra energy balancing the scales right 
balancing the scales, making sure things are fair and just for you. Master number 11. Look up master number 11. There's a message there for you. It's being clarified by the queen of pentacles. So this is either you, Scorpio, or someone in your energy that is feminine, um, caretaking energy, but not in a codependent way. Um, caretaking, like they take care of their home, they take care of their body, they take care of their meals. There's like a lot of self-care involved. They're very high vibrational, connected to nature, connected to earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, doesn't have to be, but it could be in your chart, right? Somebody that maybe they cook, maybe they bake, maybe they make a home, whatever that means to you. Maybe you're a mother. I don't know. Something is being balanced out for you though. Um, and it could be in regards to your 3D world, where you live, what your home looks like, where your home is located, your money, your stability, your ability to have resources um, at, at your access. Yeah. Five of Pentacles at the bottom, moving away from scarcity mindset, moving away from not having enough or not being paid enough, not being given enough. Wow, that's powerful. Oh my God, justice came out again. Ending the confusion, leaning on community and support. From your friends the big dipper shout out to any star seekers out there star watchers justice again balancing the scales wow all right why is the high priestess here welcome to high priestess healing tarot where you are the high priestess scorpio drop it in the comments i am the high priestess i love to see it pisces goes crazy for the high priestess all right this is piscean energy um, this is your intuition she is the mystic the observer of all things behavior body language patterns word choice the High Priestess is here with the Hierophant in reverse. This is wild. This is a divine pair. This is a divine pair. The High Priestess and the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the higher, higher level of commitment. Sometimes it's considered the marriage card. Sometimes it's considered the God card. Sometimes it's considered the connection to your higher self, your commitment to your higher self. In reverse is usually some kind of um, lesson being learned here. You may be learning how to trust your intuition, trust those internal nudges. You may be learning how to connect and commit more to your higher self. You may be trusting your intuition to walk away from some kind of partnership, some kind of higher level of commitment that you have. It might be difficult for you to do that, but allowing your intuition to light the way is ultimately going to bring you up that staircase. Ten of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. What is it that you're afraid to move away from? Look, she another moving card. Right? The Winnebago. What is it that you're afraid to release and walk away from? There's some a chapter is closed, a, a, a cycle has completed, but it looks like you it's lingering in your energy. Why is this King of Pentacles out here? Now we have one, two, three divine pairs. King and Queen of Swords, King and Queen of Pentacles. High Priestess and Hierophant. King of Pentacles is being clarified by the Fool in reverse. This is Aries energy. So the King of Pentacles is father energy, nurturing, very successful. And he's so successful that he has um, just such a high quality and high volume of bounty that he is able to be generous and give it away a lot too. He takes care of his family, he takes care of his children, he takes care of his kingdom. He's very generous with his riches. So this could be a reflection of someone in your orbit, not taking a leap of faith of some kind, not starting off on a new journey of some kind. Or you being stable and secure, but not taking a leap of faith on an Aries or not continuing on a journey with an Aries not um there's no there's a lack of trust here some kind of there's a lack of trust in this situation for some reason I don't know if it's lack of trust in spirit the divine the universe God or if it's a lack of trust with this person's energy you do have nine of cups at the bottom of the deck this is your independent wish fulfillment emotional fulfillment it's like you have secured your own emotional fulfillment by securing your own treasure chest of jewels and riches. Hmm. Okay, so is this King of Pentacles in your orbit? Does he not actually reciprocate? Is he lacking give and take? This looks like a blockage to me. Like um, you're not going to go down this journey with this King of Pentacles because there actually isn't equal reciprocity. 
it's like tempting but there's strings attached and you don't want to take the leap of faith because you know that they're not going to give damn why is this queen of swords here boundaries and manifesting you're open to look this king of pentacles is behind you right your back is to this king of pentacles you're not going down this you're not going down this road with this person whoever it is you are welcoming a conversation but your back is to that person you have your guard up boundaries up sword drawn because you've seen some shit right you've got you've seen the darkest of the underbelly of humans and that's why you have such strong boundaries and such a guard up you're also manifesting something at this time shout out to anybody with a right arm tattoo what are you manifesting scorpio you're getting really clear on whatever it is that you want are you doing some sorcery ace of pentacles something's blocked though something in your 3d world career finance home something's blocked something that you want to come in has not come in yet seven of swords that's like stealthy okay there's a lack of clarity around someone's plan i don't know what that means though there's a lack of clarity around someone's plan. We got the sun and the moon. That's feminine energy, masculine energy. But the masculine energy, I sorry. This is the sun is masculine energy, but there's a feminine on the card. The moon is feminine energy, but there's a masculine on the card. Sun is in reverse though, so it's like we're lacking clarity. The sun and the moon. The moon moving by night. Something's not seen, something's not clear. It looks like you don't trust someone's plan or you don't know if you can trust someone's plan or someone's plan here isn't clear. I don't know. You tell me. What is this? What is this? <laughs> what is the what is the plan that's not clear? What, are you not going on this journey with this King of Pentacles or is he not going on this journey with you? You tell me in the comments. There's an amethyst here meaning protection, but like the cards in reverse so maybe you don't feel safe taking this trustful taking this leap of faith with this person so you're like i'm just going to manifest something on my own why is this two of pentacles here two of pentacles two of pentacles this is a decision juggling between two things oh my god and getting the clarity through your intuition the high priestess is out here twice please scorpio in the comments write it loud and proud i am the high priestess because you are this is crazy Double download, double clarity, choosing between two things or juggling two things or making a decision. You have all of the clarity here that you need. And it's ending the period of anxiety that you were in. Death. Why is death here? This is Scorpio energy. Whoa. Major Arcana and Universe again. You have applied karmic lessons and the wheel is now turning in your favor closing out a cycle and that cycle is reactivating your third eye i'm really serious scorpio i have a scorpio moon so i have a, an affinity to scorpios i love you creepy crawlies listen linda <laughs> we got the high priestess out here twice we got the magician out here we got the ace of swords the ace of wands and the hierophant i cannot emphasize this enough so i'm going to say it one time you are way more psychically inclined than you allow yourself credit. All of this shit is turned all the way fucking up. All the way up. What are you going to do with it, Scorpio? Because you're the one connected to the divine. You know how to tame the beast within ego to get to the divine. And because you have such a gentle nature, you attract softness in your life. What are you going to do with this strength? What are you going to do with this power? Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. It's quick in and it's quick out. It's spontaneous. It is spirit-led, but it's not consistent. Why is this Knight of Wands here for Scorpio? Ooh, this in and out Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo energy. It could be someone younger than you, but it doesn't have to be. Their in and out energy leaves you feeling less magnetic than you naturally are and less confident than you naturally are. This is also Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, feminine, queen of wands. 
She's the holder of her light. She's mag magnetic. She attracts all that she wants. She's so enamored with her own light that she's just completely focused on it. But this in and out energy of whoever this is, this Knight of Wands, it takes from your light. Mm. No me gusta. Leaves you out of balance. That sun and the moon again. Feminine masculine energy. This in and out energy leaves you imbalanced. Who is that? Get rid of them. I'm just kidding. Live your life. Do whatever you gotta do. Sorry. King of Swords. Why is this King of Swords here? Someone very stoic in nature. They've been through a lot of shit. That's why they have the butterfly at the top of their throne. They are very logical, very rational. They do not use emotions, heart, or spirit to make decisions. So sometimes they are too logical, too analytical, too cerebral, and cold. Oh my God, it's being clarified by the devil. This person is a blockage to you and themselves. And it looks like you're being encouraged to let them go or you're being applauded for choosing to let them go. Five of Cups, mourning, grief, loss. This girl's choosing to pour those cups out for that person. She's choosing to let this energy go. She's choosing to release it. Is it easy? No, it's a five. It's hard, but... It's for her own good. This is crazy, Scorpio. What's going on? You are the high priestess. You are the hierophant. You are the magician. Trust your inner knowing. Don't do anything with anyone. If it's not a fuck yes, it's a no. Right? If you don't feel safe, it's a no. All right. Spirit, can I get three overall messages for the Scorpio Collective? Neptune is back, reminding us to trust our intuition. We have five of pentacles in reverse. The death card. One more. The death card again, Scorpio. That's you very, very much out here in your transformational energy. And the six of wands. I love to see it. Okay. Moving from... You're moving away from lack five of pentacles being left out in the cold not getting helped not getting you might be struggling physically you might have ailments right now you might be in financial hardship five of pentacles being left out in the cold not receiving what you need being in poverty impoverished this is turning upright this is what's dying the period of you not having enough is dying oh my god look at this imagery through this death comes victory Look at this mirrored imagery. Going from death to victory. Ending a period of not having enough, sun rising in the, in the background, to being successful, victorious, recognized, appreciated, acknowledged, in the limelight. Scorpio, this is sick. I, I love this reading for you. Oh my God, the hermit in reverse again, look. Guys, this is crazy. Two of Swords, difficult decision. Oh my God, Scorpio, this is sick. Okay, you are on a you are on a solo mission, baby. Oh, baby, yes, you are. Four of Cups under that, and Four of Cups under this too. When you release and you go through this transformation, something very big is coming, and all you need to do is trust your intuition. There is no doing here; it is only knowing here, and receiving clarity from the universe here. Scorpio, please pop the fuck off in the comments. This is a fucking crazy reading. Crazy. I'm so excited for you, Scorpio. Let me know how this hits. Let me know how this is playing out. I love you. Happy New Year. I'll catch you next week for your January 2023 reading. If you want to join me for the full moon ceremony next Friday, you can register at the link in the comments. Or if you want to join my Tarot 101 workshop, you can register for that. That's on Saturday, January 21st. But we're adding a week night for those who can't make the Saturday class. I will catch you next week, Scorpio. Bye.